WordPress version 5.9 introduces the first iteration of the full site editing feature. It promises to empower users and developers to design the whole site from the header to the footer using the native block editor. Let me quickly walk you through full site editing as it appears in WordPress 5.9. To use full site editing, you must use a block theme. Block themes are built specifically with full site editing in mind. I'll use the new default WordPress theme called 2022. When you use a block theme, the appearance menu has only two pages, themes and editor. Things like customizer, widgets and menus are missing. That's because now you can use the new full site editor to do all of the customizations. Click on the editor and you enter the full site editing mode. It actually looks pretty nice and clean. Of course, this is the block editor, so you design everything using blocks. By default, you start in the site editor, which in the case of the 2022 theme, edits the homepage template. Click on the WordPress logo and you get a menu for accessing your site's templates and template parts. You can even create new templates by clicking the Add New button. However, at this time, adding new templates is very limited and defined by your theme. So, for example, you still cannot create templates for custom post types. Ok, let's check the editor a bit more. I'll edit the archive template. As its name says, this template is used to display archive pages like lists of posts. Again, at this point, you cannot create or edit archives for custom post types. In the editor, you can notice the styles sidebar which is completely new. The idea is that in the near future, it will allow you to do everything you now do using Customizer. At this point, and for this theme, you can change fonts, colors and some layouts options. When you edit these styles, they are applied to the whole site. Look, let's change the link color to red and save. Even though I was editing the archive template, that styling was applied to the whole site. Besides the styles sidebar, the editor is pretty much the block editor we've all come used to. You can use core and theme blocks and there are some new ones like navigation, template part and more. Let's see the structure of this default archive template. For us, the most interesting part is the native query loop block. As you can see, there are blocks there for displaying all the standard fields like the post title, featured image, date and so on. However, Toolset users will immediately notice that a lot of the things they've become used to in Toolset are simply missing. Most importantly, there is currently no way for displaying custom fields and taxonomies. You can also use third-party blocks, but their behavior depends on whether they fully support full-site editing. Please note that at this moment you can use toolset blocks in full site editing, but only as regular blocks. Their dynamic sources options for displaying custom fields and taxonomies do not currently work. But for toolset users this is not really a problem, because you can already design your whole site, its templates and archives with much more control and still using the native block editor.